We've seen in a previous chapter that light comes in photons. One atom or electron can interact with one photon of light. In this Young's experiment, we can reduce the light intensity so that only one photon is in the apparatus at a time. Here we have a dim lamp and a filter with a very narrow bandwidth. Then there's a single slit that admits very little light, then two slits for a Young's experiment. We can close one of them with a baffle. Instead of a screen, we have a narrow window and a sensitive photomultiplier tube that can record the capture of individual photons. We close the lid to keep out ambient light. We are hearing the amplified output from the detector. One click means one photon captured. Light takes about two nanoseconds from source to detector and its correlation length is short. So, even if we have thousands of photons per second, there is still only one photon in the apparatus at any time. First, with just one slit open, here's the pattern as we scan the detection slit across with a micrometer. The slow variation is due to the diffraction of the single slit, which we'll meet in the next chapter. Now we open the second slit and scan again. We see and hear clear maxima and minima. The oscilloscope shows a histogram of photon capture, and it's a classic Young's experiment pattern. The two-slit interference pattern for intensity predicts the probability of capture of individual photons. Let's put the detector at a minimum. Next, we'll close one slit so that the interference pattern will disappear. Yes, when we close one slit, only half as many photons get past the central barrier but the capture rate increases at this detector position because there's no longer destructive interference. Now the reverse, starting with one slit. We open the second slit, we add more photons, but the capture rate falls. Well, at least it falls at the position of destructive interference. Isn't that wonderful? More photons, but less signal. Well, at this position at least. Now think about an individual photon whose capture gave one of the clicks we heard. This invites a range of questions such as, which slit did the photon pass through? And, if it went through one slit, why didn't it give the single slit pattern? Or else, how did the photon know about the other slit? These questions deserve deeper discussion, which we give on this support page.